Hi everyone, Siavash here and in this video I'm going to talk about uh, a couple of strategies in particular one strategy that you might hear when you're dealing with advertisement and marketing or uh, you might have seen it somewhere and this is what I'm going to talk about so as you can see on my screen I have kind of like a funnel shape in here and at the top we have something we call top of the funnel uh, in the middle we have middle of the funnel and at the bottom we have the bottom of the funnel now the way that this works we can actually implement uh, add a, this add a strategy uh, inside your uh, Facebook advertisement and each one of these can have their own specific uh, type of ad so for example if you go ahead and look at uh, when you when we get into ad creation uh, you will see that we have different type of ad like traffic ad, brand awareness ad, lead generation ad, post engagement ad, and those kind of things. Each one of those uh, ads uh, are kind of like specifically designed for a different purposes. And the reason for that is, for example, when you tell Facebook that you're using for uh, a lead ad and you want to get leads from your ad, uh, you suddenly see that you're, uh, you're spending a little bit more money and also you're getting uh, results a little bit slower based on the amount of money obviously that you're spending but the reason for that is facebook has data about the users on the platform so when you ask facebook that hey i want people uh, i'm looking for a lead ad you're telling facebook that hey i'm specifically looking for people that has previously interact with an ad and specifically sign up purchase or do something instead of just scrolling or looking at the ad and just like uh, go to another post so that's why it makes it a little bit more specific and obviously those people cost a little bit more because there are a lot of other advertisers out there looking for the same type of people now if you change your ad strategy and say hey facebook i'm only looking for people that are interested in this specific topic or in this specific niche and I want you to show this thing that I have to as many as those type of people as you can. So this is kind of what you want to do when you want to uh, do a quick test, brand awareness, traffic, or those kind of things to get as many eyeballs uh, on your product as you can. So usually when we want to uh, set up that strategy, we want to make sure that we have a pixel set up properly, we have our funnel set up properly, and then we go in and say, hey, Let's uh, throw a net in the Facebook advertisement ocean and at the top we want it to be super wide. So we wanted to basically start getting as many eyeballs as we can. So we basically tell Facebook, hey, create a traffic. Uh, let's say you have a video and you say, hey, create an ad and show this video to as many as people as you want. Let's say you are launching a product, you have a video and you show it to as many people as you can. Then we have that running for let's say five to seven days the cost per watch or uh, click and those kind of things is going to be very low so we're going to get a lot of loads of traffic there and obviously we have our pixel so we are tracking the that traffic and we know that if someone watch uh, two seconds of the video if someone watched 10 seconds of the video if someone watched 30 seconds of the video so then it comes to middle of the funnel so that's when you want to change your messaging a little bit uh, make it a little bit more uh, punchier and target and retarget those people that watch your video so for example you go ahead and say hey i want you i want i want your facebook to find lookalike people to the people that watch at least 10 seconds of my video and facebook goes ahead and basically find an audience similar to that and you then retarget that in the middle of the funnel usually uh, you want to do something like uh, either uh, same as lead generation or messaging or instant form type of uh, advertisement or same video maybe a little bit lengthier depending on what type of product you're selling obviously i'm just being super super uh, general and generic uh, to describe this obviously every product and every business this is going to be a little bit different on how we implement that that's why we do add a strategy sessions with our clients to get this nailed down based on their requirement. And same thing, once uh, you start getting traffic for those as well, then you want to finish off that with generating sales 
and leads at the bottom of your funnel so these are going to be people that are super super niche they probably have seen you a couple of times yeah your your product a couple of times different platform different type of video and a similar messaging and they are ready they are like very close to take an action and that's the one that we use the bottom of the funnel and basically we hit them hard in order to uh, get the results that we are looking for so as you can see that's what we call the funnel we go very very wide and then we basically niche in, uh, bringing them down bringing them down down at the bottom to make sure that we uh, capture the cells that we want so as you can see this is not going to be something that you can achieve in like two or three days that's why uh, usually when you start out it takes about a week or two depending on how much uh, your ad spend is to start getting some optimization and good results it's it's like this for every clients that we have depending on their uh, budget it's going to take different amount of time the most important thing is you stick with it you don't start changing things too often like after one day go ahead oh i spent 10 bucks nothing happened let's change this every time that you change something the algorithm is going to reset itself and restart again so you end up wasting more money compared to if you just wait and let the algorithm to figure things out and then after two three weeks come up and say okay this was a mistake maybe this is not working let's change the messaging let's change the uh text let's change the funnel and those kind of things so you have to be patient with it. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's what top of the funnel, middle of the funnel, and bottom of the funnel means. Uh, I hope it was helpful. I know there's a little bit of like uh, lingo there that you might have not be familiar, but that's uh, what I'm here. And that's why I'm doing these videos and putting it out there so everyone can have access to this knowledge. Whether you want to do it yourself or whether you want to hire a professional to do it for you, you at least know what is happening when and what they are talking about. Once again, if you have any questions, anything, you know how to find me. Please do make sure that you like, share, subscribe uh, to our channel. And uh, if you find this interesting, make sure that you uh, say hi to in the comment section. And if you have any other questions or if you would like to know uh, about other strategies or anything, you can you know how to uh, find us. And you can always find me on gmitechnology.com. But that's it for today and I'll hope to see you next one. Bye.